Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Dan here again with another under seven minute beer review. Today we're going to have, I believe, our first international addition to the channel. The Tucher's Dunkel Bison, a dark wheat beer from Tucher Brewery in Bavaria. Hmm. And uh, let's get her out into a glass. Let's see what we get. These German southern wheat beers are quite nice. Have a bison, very banana and cloves from the hops, or the yeast rather. And they're also known for their big frothy head. They are absolutely wonderful in Chinese takeout. Ooh, these are so good with that. This is a nice dark beer. Probably pair well with slightly spicy or more robust. Sesame chicken or something along those lines. I've had many of these beers in my time. In fact, I got a spare can down here. I'm gonna finish after this review. Now, on the nose, it's very caramel. A lot of carbonation coming off of this. A little bit of banana, a little bit of clove. It's just nice, tasty. One, two finger head. Dark, hazy beer. Should be very tasty. Let's taste away. Oh, it just smells so nice. Nice to be back outside again with sunshine and what have you. Ah. Ah. Mm. Oh, wow. Caramel bananas. Not so much in the clove, but definitely caramel banana. It's beautiful. And, uh, let's see. Let's drink a little bit, boy, anyway. Doesn't, oh, 5.2. So that's not so bad. I figured it might be 4.5 or but 5.2 is pretty nice. Let's get some more of it in the old can, in the old glass here. I'm not using the proper glassware, but I can't afford to buy the stuff. And personally, any old glass of beer will fit in is just fine with me. But yeah, that's good. So much of a body. Slides right down. Great for snacking with sausages, cheese, chicken sandwich. I'm gonna pine up vanilla ice cream would be pretty nice this one. I just love the banana flavor from these beers. Wondrously awesome. Anyway. A few minutes got back from the acne a few moments ago. Found some nice a couple more IPAs to put on the channel. Uh, Guava Blood Money IPA from Hotchock and Burden. And a West Coast IPA from all these folks at Captain Lawrence there out in New York. Uh, haven't had their beer on the channel before either, I don't believe. So it should be rather nice. It'll be nice to have some of uh, Conch Hock and Brewing back on the channel again, too. They make some good stuff. Ah, boy, they had that uh, charity beer out recently. supposed to help the Philadelphia Sports, uh, youth sports uh, organization, but... Uh, I haven't been able to get over there to get it. Would have loved to have had some for the channel, but winning a bit. But if you get a chance, swing by there, see if they got me a bit left. If not, have some of their other lovely beers at their other locations. Anyway, enough advertising for the places. These German wheat beers are delicious. If you find a way to get a hold of some at your local beer store, please try them if you haven't before. No, it's not an IPA, but it's just darn nice. There's that whole other world of beer out there. People should branch out, try different stuff. Maybe these will catch on again, <laughs> as they seem to in the summer. Mm. I should have to see if I can find for the channel that uh, Schopenhauer Rapper beer. The uh, very tasty uh, 
Swan Hebeweizen topped with ruby red grapefruit juice. It's fantastic stuff. Two and a half percent alcohol. You can drink it all the afternoon. But anyway, folks, we're running close to time here. So, I'll sign off for another week. But if you like what we're doing here, click the like button. Click the subscribe button down there. Tell all your friends about the channel. And see you next week. And until then, drink more beer.